In this video I want to show you how you can specify a moderated regression model in M+. In moderated regression we have an equation that has predictor variables and then that has one or more product terms. The product terms um, represent the interactive effects between predictor variables. In this case we have a multiple regression model with two predictors x1 and x2 and so here also the interaction between x1 and x2 is supposed to get tested. So you can see that the equation includes this product term x1 times x2 and so this is treated like a separate predictor variable and gets its own regression coefficient b3 and then we can test the regression coefficient b3 for significance if we fit this model for example in m plus and then if b3 is significantly different from zero this indicates that there may, may be a significant interaction effect interaction effect between x1 and x2 or in other words the relationship between x1 and y may depend on the levels of x2 or vice versa. In terms of a path diagram we can depict this model like this. We have a direct effect of x1 on y that is b1 and then also there's a direct effect of x2 on y that is b2 so those would be the two main effects so to say and then there's also an interaction effect the interaction term also has a direct effect on y and that's characterized by b3 again b3 is the critical coefficient for determining whether there is an interaction if b3 is zero then the interaction term drops from the model and then that means there's no interaction effect there and then x1 and x2 can be correlated and also the product term can be correlated with those um, lower order terms in the model. Now let's take a look at how a model like this could be set up in the M plus program. So how do you get that product term into the model? You can see this input file and in this input file I first of all use the define command here to create a new variable that I call prod for product term and so prod is the product of two variables that I'm using as predictors here. So in this case I have a model where my x1 variable is functional health or FH, my x2 predictor variable is physical health and my dependent variable y is subjective health. So I'm predicting subjective health from functional health and physical health and I also want to see is there an interaction between functional health and physical health and so I compute the product term here so I can add the product term to my regression model and so this define command in M plus works like a compute command in SPSS. It allows you to create new variables. It also allows you to do other things such as for example centering which may also be important when you analyze a moderated um, regression model. You have the center command there that you can use to center your predictors before forming the product term. In this case I kept it simple and so I didn't center my predictor variables which is something that you should consider um, when you do moderated regression analysis and then if you wanted to center one or more predictor variables you could do this also with that define command using the center option. And then you can see that the product variable that was newly created also has to be listed as part of the use variables in M+, otherwise M+, will not recognize this variable even, even when you defined it using the define command. It has to still be also listed in the use variable statement. And then your model is really simple. You just say sh, the dependent variable on fhph, so that would be the main effects. And then also on prod, so prod just simply gets added to that on statement. On means regressed on in M+. Plus. And so subjective health here is regressed on functional health, FH, physical health, PH, and the product term um, between physical health and functional health. And then you can take a look in the output. Um, you can take a look at the regression coefficient for that product term and if that regression coefficient b3 for that product term variable is statistically significant then that can indicate that there might be a significant moderated effect or a significant interaction effect. I hope you found this presentation useful. Please sign up for this channel and leave a comment in the comment section. Um, also look at the description for more videos and workshops on statistical analyses in M+, and other programs, and I'll see you next time.